Now, how many times have you thought you'd like to have a complete career change? We all like to dream, don't we? But most of us, well, never do anything about it. But one primary school teacher did. She decided to leave her job and started painting a picture every day, never imagining the success that would lead to. Yes, using the name Margot in Margate, she's built up a huge fan base and is now launching her own exhibition. Our entertainment correspondent Colin Patterson went to meet her. Meets the artist known as Margot in Margate. I'm loving what I do and I think, you know, hopefully that shows up in the artwork as well. The actress Drew Barrymore is a fan. I'm going to go in hard. Margot's work is seen on Celebrity okay. Gogglebox. Oh, please. <laughs> and now she has her own solo show in Brighton. A decade ago, Margot completely changed her life. She was a primary school teacher in inner city London when tragedy befell one of her pupils. There was a little girl in my class who was put on the... I was actually one of the people who put her on the at-risk register. Um, and sadly, yeah, she was murdered with her mum. And um, that did actually... That really changed my life. Margot decided to quit teaching and pursue her lifelong dream of art, creating at least one picture every single day. And so I started drawing little small pictures in my bedroom every night on a desk. And uh, I just thought, that's, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to paint every single day for 10 years or the rest of my life. I'm just going to keep painting every day. No matter what happens, I will have a sketchbook, I will do a drawing. Despite living in nearby Ramsgate, she adopted the name Margot in Margate. It's great to have the freedom of being a different person. I'm Margot McDade, but I work as Margot in Margate and then anything's possible. I have so much freedom as an artist to do and be creative. There's definitely a lot more interest in Margate. There's a lot more people here. Her Instagram account grew in popularity and she has sold more than 16,000 pictures online and shops in Margate are very supportive. Lots of people come to visit us in Margate and then have heard about Margot and will come to the shop to, to seek out the, the paintings. Yeah, these are looking really good. Yeah, they look brilliant in here, don't they? Yeah, they definitely suit the, um, the bright oranges working really well. Superfan Cara is typical of the kind of devotion she inspires. The look of love in the upstairs hallway, love as you can see is the theme. Now in the kitchen, this is Elvis. This is one of Margot's personal favourites. This is in the hallway, another Margot. In the bedroom, it's one of my favourite ones. She's done, um, inspired us a lot for the interior of this bedroom. In our bathroom, new to me or everything. Such an amazing house and they look absolutely perfectly at home. Oh. Brilliant, thank you, Carol. No, and they are at home, and we feel very privileged to have so many in our home. Until last year, Margot hadn't sold any pictures for more than £250. That's changing. Banksy's spokesperson has become her agent, and now, at the age of 54, the mother of two boys has her own show in Brighton's Helm Gallery. Margot, how does it feel to see this? It's unbelievable. I absolutely love it. It's so much colour and to see everything together in one room, it's, it's mind-blowing. It's just fantastic. Next, Margot has the US in her sights and wants to encourage other people to take risks and follow their dreams. Make time for something that you love doing and maybe that is, that's where you should go. I love it. I really love it. I can't stop doing it. I love it so much. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep doing it. Colin Patterson in Margate for BBC News. Make time for something you love doing. That's a good New Year's resolution. That's a really good New Year's resolution. Well done to Margot and Margate. It's good news.